Stop trying to get a rise out of me! Welcome to Watch Mojo's Cartoon Countdown. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Lois Griffin was an absolute psycho. Number 10. Shoplifting Obsession In a moment of weakness and recklessness, Lois Griffin steals a supermarket ham she can't afford. This little act of deviance leads to more theft, swiping everything from clothes to fine art to mufflers. Her kleptomania gets so out of hand, it temporarily lands her behind bars. But Peter helps her escape and the Griffin family goes on the run. Lois realizes that her crimes have seriously impacted their lives and wisely turns herself in. Number 9. Attacking Peter for Getting Groceries One of Peter's biggest mistakes is actually intended to be helpful. He brings home groceries, thinking he's done his hard-working wife a favor. What he doesn't expect is Lois's instant rage. You listen to me, you son of a bitch. I've got one thing in this lifetime. One thing! <laughs> she tackles him and gets in a few punches before directing the same anger towards Chris when he tries to carry in more bags. Number 8. Full-time housewife, part-time brawler Lois certainly didn't marry Peter for his sensitive nature, but she knows he has a good heart and usually tolerates his casual misogyny. The same can't be said for his female co-workers, one of whom takes legal action for his inappropriateness. Shara, Shara, I don't... Oh, she the one we videotaped taking a dump? To avoid a lawsuit, lawyer Gloria Ironbox sends Peter to a women's retreat to learn sensitivity. He returns a changed man, but Lois grows frustrated with his new personality. When they meet, Gloria undermines Lois's choice to be a housewife and blames her for Peter's disrespect towards women. But when she mentions the kids, Lois goes off and punches her right in the face. You bitch. This leads to an all-out brawl with the Griffin matriarch coming out on top. Number 7. Peter Pad Prisoners When Peter turns the attic into a 24-hour frat party, he unsurprisingly neglects household chores. Even from the attic, he still manages to cause destruction to the house and make life harder for his wife. Lois gets fed up with his nonsense and decides to power drill the door closed. At least she's aware of the craziness of the situation in the end. Number 6. Kicking her family out of the house In this episode, Lois's latest obsession is decluttering the entire house. What begins as a harmless project turns into a delusional attempt to have the perfect minimalist home. Lois gets into a cleaning frenzy, tossing out everything and eventually everyone, including her husband, and kids. Your voice, it's cluttering up my space, get out! Once she's left completely alone in a white void, Lois realizes she's still nowhere near being happy. She has a meltdown that ultimately leads to her joyously rolling around in trash. Number 5. Lois vs. the New York Leafers Lois joins a taijutsu class. She quickly makes it into the advanced class and masters the craft, gaining skills that fuel her with power she's never known. But it's a visit to the drunken clam that elicits the most kickassery. Unsurprisingly, Peter takes full advantage of his wife's new fighting abilities and provokes invasive, out-of-town patrons. Though she hesitates at first, Lois takes them all out with ease, including Kryptonians. Number 4. Review Revenge After returning home from a relaxing Nantucket getaway, Lois is already planning their next trip to the same fabulous Airbnb rental. But the homeowner's negative review accusing the Griffins of theft gets her banned from the app. Even though she frantically apologizes in person and returns the shampoo she stole, Dottie doesn't change the review. Lois refuses to let Dottie decide her Airbnb fate and stalks her because, of course, she does. Lois Griffin may be insane, but you can't say she isn't dedicated. Number 3. Sharing a Very Dark Secret with Chris to convince Chris that Arthur Valentine doesn't exist, his parents stage a scene where the made-up character gets run over by a car. The trauma of seeing Arthur's death leaves Chris in a catatonic state. When Lois is by his side taking care of him, she inexplicably tells him about a pedestrian she killed years before. I've never told anyone this, but I killed a jaywalker in 2002. Though we don't see this scene play out and only learn about it through a long overdue confession, it makes us wonder what else Lois is hiding in that creepy mind of hers. Number 2. Attempted Murder and Kidnapping If there's one thing we know about Lois, 
It's that she has a tendency to hyperfixate on the smallest things. When she obsesses over becoming House of Brews Customer of the Week, she starts out being extra friendly to the staff. But another week goes by without the honor and she spirals out of control. Lois uses a barista's peanut allergy to create a situation where she can be a life-saving hero. Instead, the allergic reaction causes a horrible car accident, putting the girl in the hospital. Lois kidnaps another employee who learns of the crime and then his roommates. Number 1. Holly Jolly Rampage It's Christmas for the Griffin family and of course, Lois is responsible for making sure everyone has a perfect holiday. She impressively maintains a cheery attitude throughout all the chaos, mishaps, and losses. But what sets her off is not having the products to clean up the latest catastrophe. This sends Lois on a path of destruction through Kohog, verbally and physically attacking anyone unlucky enough to be in her way, even Frosty the Snowman. By the time she scales the town Christmas tree, the cops have been called. Yeah, she's not getting it. Okay, boys, take it down. She spends the rest of the holiday completely zonked out, which is honestly for the best.